Hi guys, my name is Shad. In this tutorial, we'll be setting the aggregation content for logical table sources. You need to open the BI admin tool and then also open the repository in offline mode. So here is my admin tool. Click on file, go to open and click on offline. Select uh, the repository and then click open. Enter the repository password. Once in the repository, expand the BI Shampoo Sales Business Model. Also, go ahead and expand the D1 Time Logical Table. Now, expand the Sources folder. Double click LTS One Time Logical Table Source. In the dialog box, click on the Content tab. Confirm to make sure the aggregation content group by is set to logical level. Once done, also make sure that the logical level for H1 time is set to time detail. Right here, this is where you select the logical level. From the drop down here, click on time detail. Click OK to close the logical table source dialog box. I can double click again here to make sure everything is showing up. Let's go ahead and minimize the sources folder and also the logical table. Expand D2 product and the sources folder. Double click LTS1 product. Update the logical level for H2 product to product detail. There we go. Just press OK to close this. Minimize this again and then expand a D3 customer. Open the source folder and then double click LTS1 customer. Set the logical level for H3 customer to customer detail. Click OK to close the dialog box. Right here, I'll need to remove D3 on the name. If I expand H3 customer, I will rename this to customer total. I'll also rename D3 customer detail to customer detail. If I now double click LTS one customer, I should see the updated name, which is customer detail. Nextly, we need to double click on LTS2 customer address inside D3 customer source folder. On these two, go ahead and set the logical level for H3 customer as customer detail. Once done, you can press OK to close the dialog box. Minimize this and then expand the F1 revenue logical table. Expand the sources folder and double click LTS1 revenue. For H1 time, set the logical level to time detail. For H2 product, set the logical level to product detail. Then for H3 customer, set logical level to customer detail. Once done, press OK to close the logical table source dialog box. Set the repository and check the global consistency. No errors here, so I'll just press OK. Let's go ahead and close the repository. Click on File, then click Close. Next thing we're going to do is to test our work. Go ahead and log into uh, the Enterprise Manager. Click on Business Intelligence, then click on Core Application. After that, go ahead and click on Deployment, then make sure Repository tab is selected. Click on Lock and Edit Configuration, then close the uh, confirmation here. Click Choose File, then select the repository to be uploaded, which is BI Sample. Click Open. Go ahead and enter the repository password. 
once done click on apply then click activate changes close this confirmation click restart to apply recent changes go click the restart button right here accept this right here completed successfully so just close this now we need to open and log into bi analytics enter the user and password here once on the home page go ahead click on analysis click sample cells from the table folders expand products and then double click brand column now expand the best facts folder and double click revenue column click results this will test the product hierarchy if you click on uh, bistech you will be able to drill down the levels that was line of business then type then product next we will test the time hierarchy expand time and then double click per name here go to best facts and select revenue click on results here you can drill down through the years you will be able to choose a specific year and review its revenue you can uh, view revenue for specific quarter for that quarter you can choose specific month then the week if you want to go back you can right click then just click on back nextly we can also test the customer hierarchy click on new drop down then analysis then sample sales from customer region select region then select revenue from best facts now click on results you can drill down here from region to area to country uh, we are done guys stay tuned next tutorial we'll go through how to create level based measures uh, you can like and subscribe thank you